Scott, one all with West Ham. Happy with the result? Yeah, we needed it. We needed it. Obviously, with the circumstances of the game, we feel as if we um, we deserved it. Uh, we wasn't very many clear cut chances, but I think overall we, we deserve something from it. Definitely, and you're keeping obviously the home form going. Is is that something with your waveform form? You're looking to sort of build in your waveform from last season with the results over at Chelsea and Everton that you've had? Yeah, I don't think there's been any more impetus on any performance. Uh, just this season, it kind of click. Uh, it's managed to click away from home and. And obviously with, it, with what happened last year, people's jumped in it a little bit more, but sure. certainly, certainly not for us, it's, been a, it's not been any different for us. Okay. And then just in terms of the international scene, so obviously you've had your main international tom- tournament this year, how did it feel, to, what was the insight into playing in an international tournament for the first time? Yeah, well that's what it was, I was so excited to do it. Uh, obviously you play through so many friendlies, my first game at the, the Mexico to qualify was, um, was obviously a great experience as well, but to play in a tournament, tournament football, uh, the boys will tell you there's, there's nothing better in it. So it's my first taste of CONCACAF in the Gold Cup. I thoroughly enjoyed it and you know I can't wait for the next one to come on now. Brilliant. And obviously you got your first gold as well, so yeah. what was that a feeling? Oh, it was brilliant. Um, obviously the time difference is different, so everybody was staying up till, <laughs> till 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock like, in here. So the yeah. first thing I did was run my brother. He was still up jumping off the ceiling. So Excellent. It was, uh, no, it was a special moment for me, obviously. Um, great experience. Uh, and to cap it off with a was special. Yeah, okay, and then just in terms of... Um, the differences in between yeah, something like the Premier League and international football at the level that you're playing at, what's there any sort of main sort of differences or is it uh, no, pace wise? No main differences. Yeah. I think if you look at the Premier League they're all they're all international players so you play against them in, in, uh, in different games but you know that the, the two or three yards is, is like ten yards. Cool. You know, it's massive that it sees things so much quicker and, and the chances that that they get if there's, a, if there's any a break in play or you, or you give a sloppy pass in the championship sometimes you get punished, sometimes you don't, but certainly in the Premier League if you're if you're not on it mentally and physically, technically, you, you get punished and you just see the day that one ball over the top and, and we get punished in the championship, the, the chances of that, that you don't really get punished in, in that area. Okay. And in terms of the manager, Canadian manager, also one of the most successful MS managers of all time, so what's it like playing for him? What's, what's he bringing yeah, to your game? Yeah, the first time I really, and the met him was a, was a Scotland game in March. Um, Mike Fernand was an was a interim coach at that time and, and he came and he, he kind of overse- overseen the camp and the first thing he wanted to do was just he used, used the terminology that you know for us to for us to throw the first punch and I think that was uh, the boys really took that and the Scotland game in particular I think we played great football at times and mm-hmm. you know we surprised a few a few people and walking out with, the, with that result I think we we done enough to win that game as well and and, uh, and ever since that obviously we gathered momentum into the Gold Cup and. and you know, the El Salvador game was a, was a different circumstance, but yeah. certainly the Jamaica game yeah. uh, that we won at, at, at BMO was, you know, that's exactly that, that what he wants to do. So it's a certain time for everybody, and he's, he's galvanised the whole nation into, into football there. So yeah, definitely going in the right direction. Excellent, and that's been the final question. And so where do you see it going from there? Also, your galvanisation, do you feel it being sort of kicking on then from the Gold Cup yeah, I performances? Think so. I think for what we've done at the Gold Cup is, um, you know, it's special to, to kind of get the advertising. You know, this this side that people don't realise how you know it's a different sport than the main sports completely different to what it is in soccer so, yeah. so to get that and to get everybody kind of believing in the country was, was the first thing we wanted to do the Gold Cup was, was fantastic for us but certainly going in the right direction now and it's exciting times with the, with the young players coming through as well